Hey guys, welcome back to another scrap mechanic video, and I'm here with Allstrack. Hello. I know it's been three weeks, no videos, but we're back with some more awesome stuff. And Allstrack, he used some of my blueprint edited magic in his car. Yes, this car runs on magic, true magic. Let, let's let's just give it a swirl. Allstrack, do your thing. <laughs> so um. The real magic in here is the, the true U-joints in here, and making these vanilla without blueprints, editing, without glitches, without anything magically, it'd be, it'd be bulky and... and very, very wide and they can laggy a lot of space. I know, yeah, exactly. So, well, I blueprint edited some, some pipes and stuff, and basically we made some U-joints using that. And, well, what are U-joints? Well, let's give it a, a little explanation of how it works. So, um, let's go to the explanation area over there, and we'll show you how U-joints work, what you can do with them, and why they are so useful to you. Especially when you build cars and stuff. So the idea was, uh, I mean, is, uh, you have uh, this weird shape here, which is, I believe, why it's called a U-joint. I mean, it kind of looks like a U when you look at mm -hmm. it from a certain angle. Exactly. And it, you see, it connects to the top and to the bottom part of the cross section right in the middle, right there. And which allows it left to right movement when you look from the top, right? Uh, it's connected uh the same way like that one but it's just uh connected on another axis and this basically allows uh allows this piece in the middle to wiggle in a way and it allows to transmit the power from this axle to the other which with, will be on a angle. certain yeah indeed an with angle. an angle so, so let's add the angle um yeah there's one thing before before i show this one thing is you always need double uh, U joint on each end. Otherwise, uh, you get a very jerky action. We don't want that, right? We, we don't want actions. that. But I'm gonna prove you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna prove you that uh, it's just the way the U joint works. When you have, as long as this thing and this thing, let me paint them in different colors. Uh, as long as the blue pieces stay horizontal. It'll be all other. fine. It's it's all fine. You can move it up uh, off axis. You can move it um, left or right from uh, like when you look from this angle. You can move it to the side and whatever. It doesn't matter as long you can as do some crazy magic with them. Yeah, as long as it's horizontal, it's gonna uh, transmit perfectly fine. But once, Brent, don't touch that. <laughs> <laughs> but once one of them does not stay perfectly straight this happens you see the engine slow down a lot it just doesn't yeah. have a lot of torque to to you to, you know to you can see that. how this axle transmits the power to the next one and so on though yeah in in real life you have a lot of friction happening right now and you see the, the that input i mean that and input and that output are not horizontal and you get, it'll explode yeah, if you go any faster, <laughs> it's gonna mess up really hard. So over here we can see the U-joint made smaller by blueprint editing. And um, it's, it's a special thing because, well, what if you want suspension or you want the piece near your wheel to move and you want the, the engine to be somewhere else in the car and just drive everything off one engine or maybe like a piston engine? Like that one there. Yes, exactly. The beauty. beauty. It is a beauty. But Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. It's one of your masterpieces. Yes, I love it, Brent. Anyways, a link so in the description to All Strike. Check him out after this video. Thank so you, Brent. <laughs> Thanks for giving me credit. Yay. <laughs> so, how did he use the U joint in his car? Basically, this can happen. Engine powers this bearing. And this can put the power of the, the 
the rotational power can can continue through this loop. Yeah, the only thing I did differently is I didn't use any uh, pistons in between, no no extenders or anything like that. The drive shaft is perfectly solid. It basically transmits power from the engine to the to the wheels without anything in between, except you know connection. Except things. some bearings, of course. So basically, when you come over here, you, you won't see any pistons that are making it extend because I would friend come here. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't do any piston magic because I I don't really like mm -hmm. to use pistons for extension. So what I did is I used. I mean, by the way, this is uh, oh. the drilling suspension on the back. Yeah, uh, it's, it's done the correct way, you know, not like <laughs> most people do it. Um, so what I just did is I made the the drive shaft as long as the links so that uh, basically makes it the same amount of travel which uh doesn't really matter how how uh, how much extension it needs because it's the same length as the links so basically, so basically well, basically it moves like a link except that it powers uh, yeah the wheels. It, it it's like it's it's rotation center point is in the middle over there yeah and it's the same for these links. That's why it, it works perfectly well without stretching the axle itself. Exactly. Although I do have a solution for that. With bearings, because we all know Allstrike loves bearings in his creations. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> and this is probably the most vanilla of them all. I mean, no, actually, this is yeah. also vanilla, but this is yeah, more like... it, it stretches springs. It Which stretches uh, the the pistons, right? The ah, pistons, pistons, yes. And, you know, stretch pistons are all right, as long as you have a fixed point, but they do want to pull together. Yeah. So if this this piston wasn't here, it's going to pull itself together and it wouldn't work anymore. So this is another solution I just thought of. Uh, and it puts, uh, it puts your uh, ground higher and you can, you can extend it a lot. Well, not, not a lot, not as much as that one right there. But it extends uh, in a very simple way. It just mm -hmm. uh, it's connected in the uh, with bearings in between, so basically just stretches, I guess. I mean, you get the idea, right? You can kind of see the the rectangle over here of, of bearings. Yeah, it, it moves it parallel, possible. and it does that. Also, um, it's also one block to the back, but you could solve that, right? I mean, you you can. Here's one thing. Um, that I learned with the drive shafts. Over here, I did the same thing. I I put the engine one higher, one block higher than, than the um, you know the the inputs for the the drive, the drive shaft. shaft. Yeah. Uh, uh no, for the differential. Wh whatever. I'm, I'm messing up words. <laughs> uh, so you can see it's one up higher, and that is uh, that has to do with uh, engine clearance issues. It was hitting the ground, and there's. Uh, sensors on that um, crankshaft right there were mm -hmm. and they're connected and they detect and... the ground so I didn't want that and I just decided to put a one up higher the thing you get is that we're a weird squirrely thing but that does not matter that much I mean it's you joints be... perfectly take care of that yeah I mean they work they wiggle a little bit but that's what they're meant to do you know that uh, cross section in the middle that that's what wiggles we can get uh, some some footage of it in action, right? Uh, yeah, sure. Right, let's, so let's check it out. The the idea is they stay perfectly parallel, uh, like one end and the other one stand parallel to one another. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, the beginning of the U jo two U joints and the ending, they never That's go off axis. Only yes. the middle. I mean, you can you can put it as far away as you want. Uh, you can put it to the left. You can put it to the right. But as long as there's uh, the input and the output stay straight uh, or like horizontal in this case, uh, mm -hmm. it does it does work. You can even put it a little higher if you want to. I think. Yeah. Spurted thing would go crazy, but yes, should um, work. These have a limited amount of uh, degrees. I ha I don't know how many degrees that is, uh, uh, but 20. you can see right here you have. I mean, about thirty degrees of clearance at least. 
any more than that, yeah. I think it might break it. I mean, it might not break it, but it's gonna slow your engine. Um, Indeed, we can we can test it with a normal engine that is not electric. Oh, that should work. That's just as fine. Let's see. Just that power one, it goes just as fast as, as you would expect it to go. Yeah, doesn't make much of a difference when it's uh, think by stretched or not. With 45 degrees, that will change. Uh, yeah. The, this um, thing here is gonna slow down a little bit because you know the game does not like it very much. You have mm -hmm. so many bearings connected and moving like that. But it's one way to move, uh, you know, power from one end to another. Exactly. So, um, <clears throat> I thought I'd, I'd show you how to create this this episode, but. I'll move that to the blueprint editing episodes because that would make way more sense to to do it over there. So there will be a dedicated video to how to do it, but um, just a basic explanation for those that really already want to know is basically this thing where you shift around these um, these pipes. Basically, you change this pipe and this pipe for a pipe that um, is rotated like this. And then you change the position to this side and this side. And also the bearings need to be flipped. So they're Blah, 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 block. complicated stuff. It's very... Difficult. Indeed. Anyway, it's that'll possible. be covered in the blueprint editing series. So that's something you want to look out for. The one thing you have to pay attention to is to not put any blocks next to the bearings. Yeah, if you yeah. add blocks here, you will you can see it going green and that means bad stuff is happening. So I if you... Yeah. Yeah, like, if you if you drag a line, if you put it on the left and drag a line right on top of that, it's it's gonna mess Break. up your whole U-joint and it's gonna whatever. Anyways, uh, Brian will have these in the link in the description, right? Yes, I'll put it on the workshop so you can all enjoy it. And um, he's gonna make as many co uh, compatible parts as possible. Yes, I'm gonna try and change these for straight ones, um, maybe for uh, whatever you want ones. Yeah, for example, I, I had many times where I was like, Brent, I need, you know, <laughs> I, need I need this exactly. one, this ending is, instead of that one. Anyways, uh, he's gonna have some of those. I also have some of them over here. I could spawn. I'm not gonna do it right now. Uh, no. But anyways, um, so yeah. anyways, you see this works, right? You can push it downwards. It extends because you know the slider piston, whatever. It's great for cars. So everyone just slam it in your car. <laughs> you know, just like I did. You know, because uh, I was bored. Anyways, yeah. Wait, why is? Why do you have it on the blade? Because. I want frames. <laughs> right, but I could have put it on my... Okay, anyways. So, uh, I have this prototype over here, uh, which is uh, different to that one. Uh, you know, this one works Ooh, the damn. same way. Uh, you can even see how it kind of... Like, Wait, uh, like if, we, if, we, if we bang it with a hammer, will it keep rotating? Yeah, it should. Yeah. Almost no friction. That's just perfect on strike. Yeah, I mean, of course, I mean, I made it. <laughs> no, but the, uh, it's not because of anything I made, it's because the U-joints are pretty good themselves. I mean, yeah. you get a wall of degrees of angle, mm -hmm. and it, I mean, this looks bulky, but this is my equivalent of this over here. Uh, the, the one reason I don't want to use pistons in between uh, like that uh, is just because the pistons... It stretches and wants to pull itself together, and this is one one way to do that instead. If if we connect this. Also, I know there are modded ones that allow, um, well, U joints to exist. But the problem with that is the modded ones aren't as great as these. The modded ones only go like twenty degrees ish, or maybe fifteen only. So yeah, and these work perfectly fine, if you mm -hmm. ask me. And you can see I th this this stretches and whatever and it's it's putting a lot of stress on the U joints but you can they see they can handle it. it perfect yeah 
So I hope you guys enjoy this thing and make some awesome creations with it. I know you guys can create some awesome stuff with it. I've seen you guys do some awesome stuff with stabilizers, so of course you can do some stuff with this. I mean, this and is the one part I really like that you have made, friend. <laughs> I mean, I don't like the stabilizers, no, but I, I love this. This is yeah. this is ten out of um, eleven out of tw ten. No, no, no. It's ten out of eleven, right? <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoy this thing and see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye, I'll strike. Bye. <laughs> He's so he grows so tired of that outro. <laughs> Alright.